Hi everybody, welcome to uh, part four of Wagger's uh, van mount system for waterfed pole. Uh, this is the situation so far. What we've done is um, cut the control board down, the piece of wood that is, because we didn't need it as big. We decided to mount it in the middle. And that's the good um, thing about these IBC tanks, about the only good thing I suppose, is that you can mount stuff on them in various places. Uh, we've got everything set up as you can see. Pump, flow control, and a switch. It's not actually wired up, so I can't show you it actually working yet. We're going to wait until we actually install this. Uh, we've just all measured it out and just to see how it would go, and it just seems to fit very, very, very well. I'm uh, quite pleased with that. I've installed a little tap here. Now, what you find is there isn't much pressure uh, coming in from the tank. There's just gravity of the feed comes around here into your filter to filter out any debris and into the pump. Up to this point you'll find that there's hardly any pressure at all but after that point when the pump pressures up you're going to get the full pressure of your actual pump itself which um, could be anything between 60 and 100 psi so from here onwards you you can get leaks so we put PTFE tape on that and a good uh, strong Jubilee clip of course we've got to test this out yet now from that point on uh, it depends what size van you've got, etc. But always leave yourself a good bit of hose that can go out of the van. So if you want to take the hose reel out of the van, you can lift it out and put it on the deck uh, in any position you want, or you can just leave it in. So always have it just a bit longer. So we've got plenty there to wind up. Another point um, I mentioned before: you really need to get this elbow here for your hose reel if it's not delivered with it. You can see that, I'll just turn the hose reel, and you can see it turning now. See, and if you don't get that, it's just going to tangle the hose up and you can't use it. And that's the principle of that. At the other end here, something I forgot to mention, it usually comes with a Sharada connector. Um, now, to be able to use like John Guest and that, just put a piece of tube onto your male Sharada side like that. Uh, and that goes to your pole, that end, and that can have a John Guest on. Now every time you uh, release this side from a Schrader connector, it cuts off the flow, so you won't get water pouring all over your van. So that's useful for that anyway. So for now, let's have a look at this. Uh, what else is there, before I forget you? Yeah, I've put a little tap on here, rather than use the large blue one all the time, We've put a small tap here so that we can turn that off on and off. So if the big one wears out, then it's stuffed, whereas the small one can be easily replaced. Now, what we're hoping is we don't get too many leaks from these. I don't really like these, but for now, um, that's what we're going to put on. Um, what else? We've got a switch there. If you find that the board thickness here that you use is too thick for your switch to go right through, now this part here, all that is, is the very end piece of an old pump. Uh, it's an old Plastimo pump. So we've just screwed that on and that just gives the clearance there to be able to put the switch in. So the switch is inside there and there's a hole drilled through for your wires to be connected at the back. Now all the wiring's around here and it will come out. We'll probably have the um, battery either under one of the front seats in the cab or right next to the actual tank itself. We haven't actually uh, decided. Now you can see we've put a small bracket on here to hold the filter, the inline filter on as well. It's dead simple. It's held on with ties. We've used ties here. Uh, that's much stronger than I thought it would be. You don't have to. You can put screws in but if you do, don't drill into your tank. But uh, that's all pretty uh, planned out, ready to be installed in the van. So for now, uh, job done.